Hi, this is Yadira from El Club de las Diosas, and today I'm going to show you how to do a book cover for a 6x9 book in Canva. Very simple, here are the following dimensions that you are going to need, and you will enter those under the custom size to create a new design. Again, it's 12.527 by 925, and once you click a new design, you will open up a brand new page, just like this one very very simple to do i will strongly recommend to go ahead and start naming it book cover six by nine so you don't get um, any confusing confusion uh, one trick that i want to show you is immediately go into file and open your ruler um, the reason why you want to do that is because uh, you're going to be measuring a lot of different things you want to make sure that they follow um, in, in the sides that you wanted um, KDP is very, very particular into where these things are going to go in order to print them. So make sure that you have your ruler up whenever you're doing this. One great thing that Canva has is that it already has tons and tons of different templates that you can choose from, as well as you can build them from scratch. Um, there's so many of them uh, that why not use them, right? It's just going to save you tons of time if you already have in mind what you're going to do. In this case, I'm going to create a book cover for a uh, baby logbook. So you can see I already kind of tested some of the templates. I think I'm going to go with this one, which is very, very cute um, and not a whole lot that I need to modify. As you can see, it has a lot of very cute elements um, that um, it already includes. So just minor things that I need to do to this cover. And like I said, it's already in the dimensions that we asked from the very beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start modifying this template. I think I am uh, going to move this heart to the bottom so I can easily move the text around and play with it just to, again, centralize it to whether I wanted to do. I sort of click to minimize on the text I think I like where it stands and it's sort of like in the middle, um, but a little bit more might be best in this case. Again, the ruler is going to help you eyeball where you want this text to go. Um, it is a great, great helper because at the end of the day, whenever you have a book that is 100 pages and over, you need to have um, something on the spine, uh, whether it's a book title or however you want to call it. Um, KDP ask you to do that. So in this case, I'm going to change it to baby lock bug. Again, something very, very simple. I'm going to like centralize it. Maybe I want to change the color. You can just click on the color. You can see because it's a template, it already selected some of the colors that are part of the template itself. I'm going to check with the blue. You can change the effect of how it looks like. But because it already has a blue background, just, you know, playing with the intensity may help. But I think yellow might be best. Oh, it looks amazing with yellow. I'm also going to go ahead and change this to say something different, kind of like the subtitle of the book. So that's an opportunity where you can definitely put the subtitle of the book to give a little bit more context into what it is. And if I can only spell, <laughs> that will be amazing so my apologies for that so i think i got the book cover title and subtitle now i'm going to put the spine text in the middle um, i'm going to click on text to add uh, the book title in here select the text to change it the book title is baby Lock book um, and at this moment i'm just going to go ahead and um, align it to be vertical and here's the kicker right because you already have um, the measurements in here um, it already tells you where to put it in the middle so voila that is the beauty of having a ruler once you're done if you're happy all you gotta do is click on uh, PDF print for high quality and download um, like I said it's that simple to do once you have the, the dimensions and you can just use this as a template for your future books. So um, click below for any comments, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you later.